Welcome to Raw Food. What's up, Jack? What's going on, T? Weird world, man. Weird, weird world. What is going on? We are on uh, opposite coasts. You are on the West Coast. I am on the East Coast. In a nutshell, today was bizarre. We had a Jason Bourne incident in the subway in Brooklyn. Apparently, like, dudes dropping, like, napalm and, like, just bucking off shots and stabbing people, like... He's in a sequel and <laughs> broke the fuck out wearing a vest and a face mask. And they're like on the news talking about he's crazy. I'm like, um, that's the most sane person I've heard in ages is this guy. He mm. does not sound crazy to me at all. He sounds like he knows exactly what the fuck he's doing. So yeah. that's been a strange day in Manhattan. Uh, I hardly take the subway anymore because it's purgatory and I'm not really interested in having to have to do that probably twice in my life. So the homeless situation has been bananas because, you know, we're, we're recovering from the whole defund the police thing and crime escalated and people start getting shot left and right. And all of a sudden everybody was like, remember that time we said defund the police? Well, what we actually meant was, can you bring them back? So uh, our new mayor, Eric Adams, has started bringing them back. Controversial mayor, to say the least at this point. He has supported the removal or termination of about 1,400 essential employees, but has allowed all athletes to come back to New York to play regardless of vaccine status. He is ex-police officer, African-American male. So his leadership thus far has been very interesting. I think he's had a very tough few months up to and including this incident in Brooklyn today. So we don't know much other than they were like, we don't know anything about the person other than he's black. I was like, anyway, and I just changed the station. Not to take away from the seriousness of what happened, but I'm just like, whatever, bro. Oh, my God. And uh, the Ukraine war. That's what's going on here. Right. And didn't your lieutenant governor just get arrested for like... Bro, we're having a bad day over here in New York. Lieutenant governor's like, "Um, I'm quickly going to resign because in about six minutes, I'm going to be indicted on fraud charges. It's like... Wow. Black people everywhere was like, so this is the price we paid for Kentanji, huh? I mean, yeah. So, so the lieutenant governor is also is also black. So for Will to get his Academy Award, we had to lose Chris Rock and Jada and Will for the next 10 years at the Oscars. And apparently we had to lose the lieutenant governor of New York, which makes Holchel's uh, chance of a reelection much steeper because that was her running mate. So it was just an overall super, super whack day Mm -hmm. in new york ryan benjamin Mm -hmm. and and were you a fan of hochel governor i can't can't really say if i'm a fan of hochel or not she came in you know on the heels of cuomo being forced out because of sexual harassment allegations although i do not believe he's been criminally charged up to this point for anything so it appears to be a more of a political hit more than a criminal one at this point and he's started to run commercials here in new york so There is talk that he is trying to step back into the political arena, which I wouldn't be surprised if he did. So after his untimely and distasteful removal, Holchul has sort of filled that position. And here we are. Yeah. uh, Facing charges, including bribery, fraud, conspiracy and falsification of records. Here's my thing. Here, bro, they they brought charges faster on this brother than they have on Trump with four years of evidence. So I'm at a loss. That is, thank you. And so that means you must have gotten somebody to flip on his ass super fast or you were investigating his ass for years. Like you either what, investigated you him ran for years, years. agreed, They've been looking at you or somebody flipped like a grilled cheese sandwich. And I do not understand how this guy has been on the heels of Holchel for about 20 minutes and like. Is has got like several federal charges and we're still trying to debate whether or not the Trump administration fleeced a, a charity. I mean, like, I, I, I don't understand who's working on what. The distribution of intelligence on handling these things seems to be awkwardly distri- distributed. So I don't know what to make of it other than they arrested his black ass today. Back to your weird day in New York. Weird I day just checked in New the news. York, they, bro. They, they identified a, a U-Haul but they still have no idea who this guy is. Or they said they know, but they're not putting his name out there yet. It's and the black Jason Bourne. It's the black yeah, Jason guy, wait, Bourne. So he had a gas mask. He had a gas like mask a and a vest. Or something. Yep. He just shoots up a, a train car as it fills up with smoke. Shot 10 people. None of them died yet, but some people are in critical condition. And then he managed to just walk out of there. 
Yeah, just walked out. That's why I'm, I'm that's why I'm like, this has to be the, the, the black Jason Bourne. This has to be the man. This is it. This is Neo. Yeah. This has got to be Neo. This, this guy just like shooting everybody, stabbing everybody. This guy turns into super fly and then just broke out. Yeah, this this does not sound like a black an, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it, first of all, yeah, and it doesn't sound like someone who's insane. It might have be someone who is, you know, this person is perfect. clearly not insane, right? This person is clearly, clearly calculated and methodical. We may not agree with the premise or the goal, but this person's not some like out of control lunatic. Yeah. So and I don't know. It, it might have been terrorism, or it might have just been fuck you. And I, I do want to talk about like how we define terrorism because like we define terrorism by like violence, but to to try to accomplish a political goal. But like, mm-hmm. what if you have someone who is just nihilistic and they just want to take as many people with them as as possible? I think that is still a form of terrorism. Yeah, terrorism <laughs> it comes in lots of different forms and it has lots of different objectives. I mean, sometimes terrorism is just about keeping you in your place, right? Like that's what domestic abuse is about. It's It's domestic terrorism. It's just terrorism in your own home where Mm -hmm. someone has impeded upon your free will and during that process has terrorized you. Yeah. Or just incel. I don't know if they consider incels terrorists right now, but like like the guy in Santa Barbara, that's a terrorist. He went out to specifically to kill women. Right. Then that's a terrorist. You're a terrorist. You know, you're a misogynistic terrorist. Your, Your terror is in the destruction of women. and. I don't know how you can see it. It's a hate crime, you know, whether it's based on a religious philosophy or if it's based on gender. I mean, if you go outside and kill somebody because of the way they're made up or because of the God they serve, like that's a hate crime in any form. Mm -hmm. So terrorism to me is a hate crime on cocaine. It's a pattern of behavior, right? It's not something you do to somebody once. You don't terrorize somebody once. You scare them once. Over time, you're terrorizing them. Mm -hmm. and they just don't feel safe wherever they are word it'll be very interesting to see what happens when they bring this guy in once yeah i can't wait to see what this person looks like because i always have a theory like if you don't see their face in the first 30 minutes i'm like they're white word yeah and they'll be quick to show your face then like what if it wouldn't surprise me if one of these white guys just did some shit and it was actually in blackface or some shit like that that would not surprise right i mean it it wouldn't surprise me it's been done before and I'm disappointed. You know, I've been watching the news like first thing in the morning before my partner goes to work. And there is a pattern on the news that I noticed. Like every morning you see three conversations around crime occurring at the hands of somebody black or brown every morning. And I'm like, so you're telling me there are no Asians. There are no Irishmen. There are no Swedish people who committed a crime every single day. The only crimes that we're seeing are basically black or brown people running into bodegas and CVSs and like bugging out on everybody. But yet, if you read the fine print at the bottom of the screen, it's like, oh, this person murdered their whole family. Religious cult does this. Oh, underage girls being trafficked. And those are all white crimes, but they don't get the same marketing that the other crimes seem to get. Yeah. As a media studies major, we 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 kind of study this a bit at Berkeley as well. Wow. Violence, violent crimes always get more more pub. Right. Uh, usually if it's like something that happened in broad daylight, there's some kind of video and video. If it has video, they're always going to deal with that. But then overall, the studies still have shown, you right. know, several empirically reviewed studies have shown or peer reviewed studies that have empirical data. They show that, yeah, you know, when it comes to news coverage, especially local news coverage about crime, it's almost always covering covering black folks. Now, you can say, yes, well, there's more black people committing crimes or more black people committing a specific type of crime. And that that's that's the cop out at the same time. Like, yeah, it'd be nice to cover, you know, cover. Maybe you should cover a little bit more of this this, you know, this guy who killed his entire family. I saw something about some white guy who like. They can't charge him with murder because the the bodies were found uh, too late. But they found the body of his too mom late. and the body of his sister buried in his backyard. He was a hoarder. Star Wars toys all up and like piled all the way up to the ceiling. Bro, he was cashing his mom's social security checks for the last six months. <laughs> Bro, that's like shady as fuck. Yeah, some fucking some fucking white guy who lit- literally there <laughs> they had urine and, and cash and her feces. checks. Damn, yeah, urine and feces in like bottles and shit. Disgusting. Yeah, the the police had to enter the the place with with hazmat suits. They dug up the bodies, and the bodies are so decomposed that they that they literally cannot charge the guy with murder anymore. Oh, how fortunate and lucky for him, huh? Yeah, 
Oh, I'd get the electric chair before they got the first leg out of the ground. But this guy we can't charge because there's a statue of limitations on dead bodies in backyards. Please kick rocks with that bullshit. 